Our first step is to find the image generator tool and click it to open it up. On the first screen, you'll notice a group of example pictures that you can use as exemplars to begin learning how to use the image generator. You can also click on text to image and you'll see several other example images that you can use as exemplars. We'll start by choosing one of these sample images so that we can explore the prompt and the settings that were used to produce that image. Let's take a look at the image with the open book and the pens on a desk. Once you click on the image, the prompt that's used to produce that image will populate in a field labeled Describe what you'd like to see. You can then click Generate to see the images that that prompt produces. Once the generation is complete, you can choose from one of these four possible images that most closely matches what you're looking for. If none of these images are a close enough match, you can click on Refresh and see four more options. If you want to change something very specific about the image that's being produced, you can edit the prompt to describe what you'd like to include in the image. Let's say you want to add a picture on the wall behind the desk. You can add that as your into your initial prompt and then click Generate. And now you'll see four new versions of the image that try to take into account what you've added to your prompt. You can also use the content type and style settings to edit the look of the image that you produce. Let's say I want the image to look more like a photo. So I can change the content type to photo. And then click generate. You can even use style options at the bottom to help your output more closely match what you're looking for. In this case, I can open up the Themes Styles menu and select Product Photo, and then click Generate. And as you can see, the images that are being produced have moved more and more closely to resembling a photo. Once you've found an image that you like, you can click on it and then click Save to Magic School. You'll then have the option to name the image, something that you will remember when you see it in your history later. When you click Save, your image will open up in Magic School. You'll have the option to either edit that image further in Adobe Express or download the image to your computer. We'll return to editing images in Adobe Express later, so let's click Download. And you'll see that the image has been quickly downloaded to your computer. In the next section of this course, we'll walk through one way you can use the image generator to explore a very general idea and produce a very specific output that meets your needs. See you there.